Why is there a crescent moon above every mosque? Because it's a symbol of Islam. Show me the Quran. Show me the Hadith. Show me the Hadith. Then show me in the Quran okay. that that crescent moon represented uh, Islam. From your Let Quran. me show you. And I can shut up. Let me show you where Joshua worship a stone. Sir, if you don't want to answer your question I'll about Islam, question. I'm not hey, here. No, 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 leave it on, leave it on. You can walk away. Look, man, if it bothers you, you can face the other way. No, no, no. If it bothers you, Okay, fine. Okay, listen. Joshua made the laws. Listen, if you want Israel. to go to Joshua, first answer my question. I answer you the question. What? I asked it's you. You said Islam. Islam. Where? It where is in Islam is it a symbol of Islam? Where? Show me in the Islam. Islam. Where this is a symbol of Islam? Show it to me. I'll show you. Yeah, show me. Well, listen. Joshua listen. If you don't want to show me the symbol, then I don't want to. Thank you for coming. If you don't have the answer, just like I all the Muslims don't have the answer to this, you can go and worship your moon god. I don't care. I'm just trying to paint, paint plain. Make it plain to we you. Don't Joshua, worship him. worship him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the moon god. No, we don't have moon god. Joshua, yes, Google no, 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 no. is your moon god. So what Joshua, you guys, no, if, you, if you want to worship your moon god, you can go and worship your moon god. Why did Joshua worship a stone? You can go and worship your moon god. Otherwise, take down the moon symbol from your mosque. Because it's a symbol of the worship moon. Why we should be Why you have the moon on top of your mosque? we worship Allah. Why do you have the moon on top of your mosque? Did you hear what I said? We don't have an as mosque. No. Why do you have moon? In, okay, in Kaaba, yeah. there is a grand mosque. It has the moon symbol. It doesn't Why? It doesn't matter. Why? It doesn't matter. Why? It's it a house because of God. It, it has a symbol matter. of the moon God. Why, why do you have that? Brother, switch this one off. I have eye problems. No, my brother, you don't have to stand here next to me. You are the pagan. The four gods in heaven. Some can handle you on your own. No, some can't. Some is a fool. He's, he's not answering my question. He's going to the wow. Bible. He didn't answer mine, Sam, no, when I asked him. No, he doesn't want it. Sam he cannot explain why he has moon as a symbol on his walls. He says, Islam is says, show me in Islam I've where is the symbol of Islam. Yeah. He's not he does not, he's not have the answer. answer. Yeah, you, you tell know. me the answer you but gave to him. Then I will go to that. Here, here, then we will go to the Bible don't shout. and talk about tell it. Tell me, now. let's go to the most now. important. No, I got to shout above you because you're pagan. Listen, the most important. Did you hear that, guys? He said he had to shout above us because we're pagan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in other words, yeah. he yeah. thinks that because we are pagans, he is superior, uh -huh. and therefore he can treat us yeah. disrespectfully. Yeah. No yeah. one's your dimmy, bro. You no one's your dimmy. dimmy. Listen, listen. You don't Sorry, know who Sam. God is. No. Talk you to don't Sam. know. No, 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 okay. Who is God? Go ahead, go ahead. Let's Where is the God? forget about all the symbols. I will answer you. Who is no, God? God? I will answer you. God. I will answer you. No, if you God. answer my question, I answer your question. Why, Why answer did you give is me? there a crescent moon above every mosque? Because it's a symbol Why? of Islam. Show Where? me in the Quran. Show, Show me in the Hadith. Show me in the Hadith. The moon is your symbol. Allah did not say moon is your symbol. Who gave you the symbol? You don't worship. No, but you put it on top. Why did you put it on top? Why do you put it on top? Why? Jesus is God. Don't change the subject. No, no. Okay, you, okay, you cannot don't change the subject. You cannot answer. You cannot answer. You cannot answer. Why do you have the most? Who is God? Why? Why do you have the most? Why? 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 That's true. No, so that's you were I asked that's you the last time, and you thought that's not true. What is taking up in heaven? Who is he sitting next to? Who was he sitting next to? That's not true. Answer the question. That's not true. That's not true. Right. So now let me answer the question. No, that's not true. You can't answer the question. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. Answer the question. Trying to answer the question. So you keep talking, and because you keep talking, I can't answer your question until you actually stop talking. No. No one can I'm answer your question you. You until you question. actually and until you stop talking. Who is God? No one can answer your God? question. Right. So I'm God going to answer this question. To I am going God? to answer your okay. question. So the question is, yeah. who is God? Yeah. The answer is, 
Yahweh is God. Yeah. Not Jesus is God? Jesus is Yahweh. Yeah. When Jesus was on the cross, who was he calling out to? Who he was, was calling he out to, to the Father. Well, who could it be the Father? So was he? We don't oh, say no, 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 that, bro. Jesus, um, Oh, like, yeah, you know what your problem is? Yeah. Yeah. This personality yeah. disorder. The problem, as you know, Sam, the problem disorder. with this guy. A personality right? disorder. So, God. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> quite Jesus, contrary Jesus, to what the gentleman is saying, Jesus, Christians do not believe that Jesus Christ is the Father. That is not what we believe. But that is what this ignorant man is accusing us of believing. And he is accusing us of believing this because his Quran is in error. His Quran says that the Son is the Father. Christian, do not believe that. The Quran is wrong. And that is why my Muslim friend is wrong. What we actually believe is that the Son is begotten of the Father, one of the same essence and divine. He's the Father, Father at the same time? That is yeah. not he what we believe. He no, does he not been know been what we believe. But the more important question is why does the Quran get it wrong? Why does the Quran get it wrong? You are a pagan. He changed the subject. He did change the subject. The original subject was why the mosques have pagan symbols above them, yeah. such as the crescent moon. Yeah. Why do your mosques have pagan symbols above them? The crescent moon is a pagan symbol. It's a pagan symbol. Show me in your Quran where Allah says use the moon as a symbol of Islam. Show me in your hadith where it says use the moon as a symbol of your religion the pagan symbol of the moon was the religion of which religion it was a sabian Quraysh used to worship Hubal which was the moon god that was the lord of Kaaba the crescent moon was the symbol of the sabian pagan religion and it was adopted by Muslims during the Ottoman Empire. Your crescent moon is a pagan symbol. It was a pagan symbol adopted by the Sabian religion. You can see it in architecture left by the Sabians. Just Google Sabian Crescent Moon, you will see it on their buildings and it now appears on all your Qurans. Oh wait, I thought you wanted to shout. I thought you wanted to shout. So you didn't You didn't explain it to me. I did. You didn't. You ran away. You ran away. You ran away. The Christian, your God. Show me the Christians the believe that. God. Show me the pagan. Christians believe that they didn't even know who God is. You don't even know who God is. You're believing pagan. Tell us about the crescent moon. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? You're believing three gods. You're believing three gods. Prove it. 2,000 years of Christianity. You know, they give up to it. They give up homosexuality. There's no need to push. This right. Years of 2000 years of Christianity, ladies and gentlemen, the Muslim has run away from the debate about the crescent moon that you see on your mosques. How many of you go to a mosque where there is a crescent moon above it? How many? How many? What? What? My button, thank you. Your crescent moon 
above your mosques was borrowed from the Sabian religion, a pagan religion that used the crescent moon as a symbol of its god. And you now find that same pagan symbol above your mosques. I challenge any of you, show me a single verse in the Quran or a single hadith that justifies using a crescent moon as a symbol of your religion. Show me, you can't, because your religion is a religion of Bidda. Your religion is a religion of innovation. You did not follow the Sunnah of Muhammad. You mixed Islam with paganism. And you all accept pagan symbols in your mosques. Oh, God.